This is the web adder, or web's adder. It was invented in 1868 by Charles Henry Webb. He was a, an interesting man. He was a, a poet, a journalist, a, a humorist, because he wrote parodies. He was a good friend of Mark Twain and published Mark Twain's first uh, writings. But, uh, yeah, in 1868 he invented the web adder. And this made him quite a lot of money, much more than any of his other uh, works. And... Uh, yeah, in, in around 1890 he de developed a second model, which of which this is one. Uh, this is probably not uh, uh, an early one, it's probably made around 1900 or 1910, because it doesn't say Webb's Adder anywhere, so it's probably made under license by some other manufacturer using a different name. It's a very simple machine. Uh, it has a small window here, it now says uh, zero. And to enter a number you use a stylus, I'll use a little uh, screwdriver. You simply dial the number in, say 71, I'll put it in this hole next to the 71, and turn the wheel all the way until it hits this tab. It now says 71 here. To uh, add a number you just enter it and if I add 50 you'll see that when the uh, window goes past 99 it'll automatically carry. The, the wheel on the left also has uh, holes so that you can enter numbers, add numbers uh, which have three digits. For example 555, you do the 5 and 55 and so on. It can only add, it can't subtract. Uh, you, it, the wheels only go one way. To clear the number you have a look at the large wheel for the small zero. Earlier versions actually had a small hand etched in here pointing at this, uh, this hole. So you move that zero to, to the end. That clears the right hand digits. To clear the left hand digits there's a hole here uh, on the uh, close to the center and when you turn that you'll see that that hole is actually a slot so that when you turn you automatically slide outwards and then hit this tab. Earlier versions had a, a separate little tab here uh, for a separate hole uh, to clear the number. So it's a it's a very simple machine. It's, it's well made. It has a really nice pattern on the back. Uh, not all versions have this. It's a, a kind of a, a sunflower seed pattern. These spirals. And uh, let me open it up and show you what it's like on the inside. It has a, a two-part cover. I can remove this cover from from this wheel. And uh, yeah, let me lift out this wheel. There we go. On the back of the large wheel, there is this uh, cam wheel. It has this notch here which uh, is near the uh, zero and what happens is this uh, notch this moves this uh, this part moves to the left and to the right and each time it moves inwards it, it pulls pulls the small wheel one notch It's very simple because the, the small wheel just has a, a, a gear behind it with, with uh, small teeth.
like this. And that's all there is to it. This part here is uh, is a small latch to keep to keep the small wheel from uh, moving backwards. And this this spring here is to ensure that the large wheel doesn't move backwards. And that's all. So this is the web adder. Thank you for watching.